What is up, my pets? Welcome back to Sally Face Part 3. My name is Spartine, and why is there a red ball on our screen? Also, guys, as, as you guys can tell, I moved the camera, so tell me if you guys like the camera here or over there. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room and nine dirt. White room, the in. Um. Don't you. Don't I. Or not. What? Others ought place. Sh sight. Full. Caps not. Must you. Tub. Blah. Er. 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 And others at plays sight of keeps not must you, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. The only one who deserves you is dead now. What should I do? Huh? Mm. Mm. Run! Oh, what the fuck? Nope, 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 nope. Uh, lever. Nope, 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 lever. I don't know if those actually do anything. Run, 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 run. Oh, it sounds like it's actually getting closer. Am I. Okay then. There used to be a door here. What? What the hell was that? What happened to your head? Is it true that you have chosen to forgo legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I have I I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? The guy in the back with the pink hair and the butt chin. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. His eyes are just like, oh, why did I get dragged into this shit? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on the supposed person that allergy killed your mother? That supposed person that allegedly killed your mother. How do you explain no witnesses or evidence in, in, of any such person? See how that's relevant. They see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add a Sa the Sanderson murder to your charges? How the hell could they? they him and his dad were out of town when that happened. And why are we getting on going on tra trial? What the hell? That would be news to me. But honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me, too. What about the Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I did, what I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers seem... The viewers are very interested in this. I can't speak. Interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of. Belonga? Yes, are you afraid of Belonga? What the fuck is Belonga? I'm not afraid 
of lunch meat, okay? I just... Well... It's a long story. Your trial is a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. <sighs> Alright. I'll tell you. The Belonga incident. What the hell is Belonga? Mr. Doodle? D oh, Doodle. That's funny. What if I were more than just a doodle? <laughs> you get to walk around as a piece of a doodle. Hello, are you okay? Okay, it's just the same thing. Okay, ow, my ears. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? Enlightenment? He traveled to wise, to the wise prophet, beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Thanks, asshole. Are you okay? Why haven't your limbs? Well, I never. How would you ask if... How would you feel if I asked what happened to your really shaped head? I didn't mean to offend. I was... Huh. Go bother someone else. Sorry. Hello, miss. Don't pay any attention to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll have to seek out the oracle beyond, beyond the fields of death. The death fields? I can't read. Oh, what the fuck? Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry. Don't pay any matter to my temper. Rise of the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the old hag who lives beyond the death? Just take the la that ladder down. I always, it's always a ladder down. Thank you. You were creepy looking. Are you her? Hello. You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Okay then. Oh. <laughs> field of death and eraser. That makes sense. Looks like they were just scribbled out too. Oh, did you use pen on those three? Oh, I hate it when you accidentally use a pen. Is that an or or origami game? Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through it crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnific magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast is dead. To be dead, though we know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created a ho great hole in the prophet papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? Was the truth was the truth worth to you? Everything. Thanks for teleporting lady. Or dude. I don't know. This looks like just a bunch of rumpled up paper. Oh that's a hole. Oh, fuck that 
hurt. <laughs> That's what you get for having your game at full volume. Oh. Damn, that hurt. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. I'm awake. Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. The fuck are you looking at, Blondie? Just try to stay awake and for the remainder of the class, okay? He's getting mad for some reason. Sure, it won't happen again. Please, Mr. Phillips, eyes on your own paper. <laughs> class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in the test before leaving. I gave her like a witch accent, I don't know why. Hey, freak! Nobody likes a goody two-shoes, Sally Face. Oh, Sally Face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch! I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Fuck off, faggot! I have more friends than you'll ever have. Can you kiss your daddy with that tongue? Tongue? With that tongue? I'm sure he. Oh, damn! What the hell, asshole? Are you okay, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse, and trust me, I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold, hold on. I, you, you can't, I... She's like, oh shit, what am I gonna see? Never mind, he's cute. <laughs> there, looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you'll, you can hardly see it. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. Aww, the sweet. Uh oh. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick! I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we we'll be stuck with that beyond for the next two years. Bonehead for the next two years. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much, even for me. So, we're really just gonna let Travis go- This Travis thing go. That kinda sounds like Travis's voice. So we're just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. That is true. Most bullies, there's usually a reason. Home thing they're trying to hide something, it could be a whole <clears throat> thing. I'm pretty sure he's such a, he's just an ang just angry that they switched bologna. What is up with this bologna? Bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love that cryptic lunch lady lunch day. Cr love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal. And he doesn't even like Pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. Huh. <laughs> That's what we all need. That's all we need. Psst, Larry. I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. It's two conspiring to kill somebody because he punched me. The next, that next day, Bologna Day. The fuck is Bologna? Knockfell High School. Knockfell. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but that name sounds amusing. Yes, I'm opening another soda. What the fuck? I mean, you look very pretty. The 
does the bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it was... I heard it was made from goat meat. I don't know. I keep switching Larry's voice. I can't remember what I did with this. <laughs> Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week, too? Uh, hey guys. Don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm gonna stay here with Chug. Cause I'm a goth. <laughs> we need to find out if there's anything wrong with the Bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or, or bad goats. I'm telling you dude. The shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Uh, I hope not. Sal, might might be on. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredient, excuse me, ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you will go with Todd and help him out in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more inf information out of the, on the Bologna. Sounds like a plan. I don't know why I have a good, good girl voice. Don't ask me. Uh, oh. Hey. Oh, uh, hi, Larry. Hey, Maple. Aren't you gonna eat your lunch? My mom made me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich again. <sighs> I'm kinda tired of it, you know? Ah. Uh, eh, I mean, if you're not gonna... Of course you can have it, Chug. Heck yes. What happened to Travis? He looks like he's got black eye. I thought I was... Fuck, what was his voice? <laughs> I thought I smelled trash. What are you flame... Flamers up to? What the fuck is a flamer? Get Ben, Travis. Don't... Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's Bologna Day. Hey, punk! <laughs> hey, Kim. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the Bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why you wanna know about the Bologna, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. We were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back in your chairs now. No more questions. Do you think we could just see the package or... No packages for you! Just butts and chairs! Go on! You have something... Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is putting poison in the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though I guess it, it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at the, her files? While you do that, I'll check with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. From inside. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> Maple and Chuck, probably gonna say the exact same thing. Let's go into the hall. There's a class in there right now. I don't know. I'm just checking doors. Oh, then. That, so, wait. Our. That's where we were, and lunch is right here. So, does that. So, our lockers. Oh. 
A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm so lucky to have such good friends. Did they go as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh, that's awesome. I actually have most of their weapons except for Michelangelo's nunchucks. I've had this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn on the edges. Oh, I've got physics. Just some of my text textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is fascinating and filled with mysteries. Filled with mystery. We are we usually use paper clips to open our lockers, it's faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If I had a paper clip I could get into the other lockers. So now we have to find a paper clip? Okay, so find a nope. I wonder why Travis is such an asshole. Uh, can we do anything in here? We can open and shut doors. Interesting. I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird thing with schools. They have the one small toilet, or urinal, and then they have the bigger one. They don't have the smaller one. You have to crouch sometimes when you get tall enough. <sighs> Can we? Yeah, I better not. Yeah, no. Okay, I was just about to say, if you could go in there, that's so fucked up. Cafeteria... There's two cafeteria doors? Courtyard. What's up, Larry? Any luck? The teachers all are all in the lounge. Dude, I'm waiting for the next right moment to sneak by. Uh, can I do anything? Or... Oh. Okay, that's weird. It didn't even show up that I could do that. Uh, the teacher is in there. I don't see him. Maybe if I look. So, what if we... Can we... I don't see him there, idiot. Oh, never mind. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Sound like it comes from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. Hmm. Did you get past? Yeah. Good. Th good thinking. With that distraction, dude. I saw our file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I could just take the file. So, no. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. What should we do? Give me a minute, I'll think of something. Hmm. Hello, Kim. You look very pretty today. Check. Let me just check. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we can do. Sales locker. Back. Go back into the cafeteria. 103. Mr. Parkinson's. Science lab. Ah. Let's see how these guys are doing. Hello, Einstein. Find thing, where's Ash? Be right back. Where's Ash? She went. 
She went to go get some materials for me. I recommended she looked into the janitor's closet. I thought she... I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Find anything? Not yet. W were you able to get the bologna ingredients? No, not yet. Be right back, Todd. Ooh, sticky tack. What the hell can we do with sticky tack? If I find... Oh, God. Alright, so we gotta go find Ash in the janitor's closet. Which I'm guessing is this way. I read it the first time. Go back. Hey, Ash. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something to get into there to test the bologna. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm. I could use some pliers and get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet with the janitor, but he's always... he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Oh, I'm back and forth, 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 back and forth. You can see them, must be hiding. Oh! I wonder... The third friggin' time. That's my bad. I'm just clicking A on random stuff to see if I can get anything to activate. Pink lock. Do we have anything in there? Okay, let's check around the cafeteria actually. It's like A on everything. What do you want? Shut up, Travis. Let's get out of boy. Leave me in peace. Sorry. Sorry, Kim. Wait, 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 wait. Go back in, jackass. See if there's anything this way. No, there's not. No problem. Just making sure. Uh. Oh my god, I just walked a giant circle. Is there anything in Mrs. Ferguson's room? Oh, finger cut. Boom, baby! Now we can get into the other lockers. There might be something to help us with their lockers, I'm not sure. Oh, son of a bitch, if I just went to the... If I actually looked around Mrs. Packerson's room... Mm, Ash is gonna hate me. Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She see, she calls them little dudes. <laughs> they dude. Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. Then they tried to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them. And they never make me feel bad or not being good at it. Some of Ash's photos. One is an older picture with her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. Yeah, those two are awesome. Oh, she has a picture with us. Oh, hey, that's me. I know she had this in her locker. Oh my god, that just, I just realized. Right on the mirror is Sal. Ash's... Polaroid camera, she always, she's always sniffing, take it. It might be useful. Todd's locker. Todd's never short on supplies for his inventions. I don't know, I didn't know he, how he does half the things he does. The guy's a genius. 
Not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. This potato lights potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed it showed in class. I'm surprised the thing's still going. Todd and his boyfriend Neil. Oh Congratulations, Todd. They're always so happy when they're together. It makes me happy, too. Well, that's nice. Okay. Larry's locker. Of course. Oh, yeah, it's the same picture. I think this is an older drawing that Ash made. She actually thought Larry, uh, taught Larry a lot of what he knows. She is a great teacher. We may have never became cr close if it weren't for Larry. I heart metal. That's one of my paintings I was going to throw out, but Larry instead on, insisted on keeping it. He said great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it, it com conveys genuine emotion, and I feel the shit out of this one, man. I really do. Larry's art stuff, he is so messy. Eh, in a way, I sort of admire the carefree mindset. Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the, t the last two years. He's more than my best friend. He's family. N now I don't know what I'd do without him. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so we got the camera. What can we do with the camera? Which way am I supposed to go? Go this way. Run, Sal! Is that a way to make you run? Okay, so courtyard. Can't see, they must be hiding. Can you use the camera? Ash's camera, there isn't much film left. Ew! Interesting. Oh, it sounds. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. Look at that beautiful little birdie. Oh, that's right. I had to unplug this keyboard. Okay, why did I take another picture? That tennis ball is perfect for distracting teachers. Now I need to figure out a way to... <gasps> Ew, I got an idea now. My bad, my brain. My brain don't work sometimes, I swear. Here, use this Ash's camera to take a picture of the vials. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. <laughs> now run! This is the best hiding spot. What was that? I don't know, it sounded like it came from the side, I don't see anything, neither do I, maybe it was the damn birds again. Same dialogue. I really like this game, this game's so much fun. How are you guys are enjoying this game? This is actually a very fun game. Did you get it? Did the file is missing. What? How can it, how can that be? No one else should have went in there without you seeing them. <laughs> I'm just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. Show oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score! Let's take a look. Look at it. Kim Yerzy... 967. What year does this game play take place in? Three, four, nine. Put my money there. Alright, Nate. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you in the back of the lab. You got it, dude. Oh, it says you like birds. It's a good thing I took a picture of a red birdie. I got something for you. Just, I got something for you. You might be interested in. Are you interested? <laughs> what is this? A photograph? A birdie? You take pictures, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. 
Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're sweet boy, Sal. Sally, thank you. So, I was wondering... Can you tell me where the school buys the bologna from? Don't make me take off the glasses again. Why are you interested... Why are you so interested in bologna for? Oh, well... My friends and I really like it and want to know where we can get some. <laughs> it's local made by Miss Packerson. 100% beef she brings from from farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats for bringing Kim a nice photograph. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. So nice. I don't know why... Fourth time's the charm? What the fuck? There's a crumpled up note on the ground. Looks like someone tried to throw it out, but missed the garbage. Hmm. Couldn't hurt to take a quick peek. I know we don't really know each other, and you probably have your opinions of me. I thought, maybe if I told you how I feel, things could be different. The truth is, I can't stop thinking about you. I'm crazy about you, I think you're amazing, but I know these feelings I have are wrong. It's not the way a boy should feel. Shame shallows me whole just writing these words. My father would... Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh. So, as you guys read that, along with me or listen to me read it and then you're wondering what I just clicked in my head something tells me Travis is the thing we talked about earlier in the episode is that Travis has some feelings he doesn't think he should have who's in the bathroom is anyone in there no duh fuckwad buzz off Travis were you just crying a second ago Sally face! I- No! What the hell? Can't a guy get some privacy? I got you with the pants. <laughs> it's okay to have emotions. It's okay to have emotions. Yeah, for queers! One. Just leave me alone, alright? Is anyone in there? No doubt, fuck what? Block buzz off. Travis, were you crying a second ago? Sally face? No. Can I guess? I got you with your pants off. What? Is that kind of gay thing? Two. Get the hell out of here, you queer. And three. I might just be numbering off stupid things. Can you guess them? But that's three times you've heard queer, faggot, queer again. Because you and your dumb friends are a bunch of home four homos. It's sick. It's not right. God will never love you. Why should I? You know we aren't all actually gay, right? I mean, besides Todd, for Todd, Todd is super gay. But that's a part of who he is, and I think it's wonderful. He's one of the kindest people I know. How could anyone hate Todd? Ugh. You don't even know us. It's your father pushing these beliefs on you? Just because my dad's a preacher, okay. Doesn't mean he owns me. I'm my own person. I don't believe you. I don't need you to freak. Just leave me alone. Is anyone in there? I just, I want to see what he all says. Why do you hate me so much? Blah, 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 blah. You don't even know us. I know of enough, just leave me alone. <sighs> I had to go through this. Alright, I might skip this, so jump in ahead. Halt the halt the edit. So sorry man. Don't feel sorry for me, Sally Face, I don't need your pity. We don't have to be enemies, you know that, right? I think under all the anger there's a good dude who's afraid to be himself. If you ever need someone to talk to, or if you need to get away from your dad for a while, you can just hang out with me. Why are you being so nice to me? 
I don't think you're a bad person, Travis. You don't, you know, I don't really hate you or your friends. I don't, I didn't really think so. I, I guess, well, I'm sorry. I've been such an asshole. You didn't deserve that. That means a lot to me. I, it really does. Thank you, and what I said about being here for you, if you'd ever decide you want a friend, I meant that. Don't push your luck, Sally Face. Oh, here. I was gonna flush this down the toilet, but I guess you can have it. I found it on your desk. Is that an envelope with my name on it? Huh, it's empty. Thanks. Okay, now scram! So I can have my alone time, and uh... What? Don't tell anybody about this or you're dead. Or, I mean, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I won't. So, Travis, I got an achievement. Cool, cool. Back to the thing. I'm actually happy I went in there for the fourth time by accident this time. Because the first three times were actually on purpose. See if I can find anything. But the fourth time I accidentally clicked A, but I'm happy I did. Sorry, my throat. <clears> throat. Got more bologna. Perfect. Q said that it's made by Miss Packerson. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh, yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly see her. I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved in. She tends to return to, to uh, late hours. I believe it that some, she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think. So, it's fairly common. However, when Miss Packison is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very particular. So, what do we do? Should we ask Packerson about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys gonna go on your whole detective thing? Heh. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before we go into Mrs. Packerson. <laughs> I don't I don't like the way this is planning out. If something nefar nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerson know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good luck, Sally. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerson's classroom while the teachers are on break? I love how Larry's like, good luck. Ashley's like, no, dumbass, you're going with him. Dad and I will finish testing the Polonia. Exactly what I was thinking. Alright, we'll be right back. I may or may not added a few lines that I didn't need to, but I did anyway. Larry, I need you to be my lookout. Wait for the door in case anyone comes out here. You got it. You got it, dude. Damn, she keeps her desk her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how we picked how to pick the lock I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. A combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. Uh, okay. Do you have to figure this? Oh, I hate math. Alright. Fuck. X plus 2, X plus 4, so we need to find out what... Hold up, actually. I need a piece of paper. <laughs> Where's my phone? <laughs> uh, I need a piece of paper. Be right back. Let's get out of school. I don't want to be doing math, but if I had to do math, I will do the freaking math. Oh, that doesn't make any sense because she actually fills it out right on the board. So I just got a piece of paper and a pencil for nothing. Um. Is it, it please, you cannot. Huh. 
Oh. Wait, it, it can't be as simple as 3.141, is it? Two, three, four. It's pi. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Got it open. Nice, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky shit in here. What is it, dude? I'm not sure. What the fuck? That's some cult stuff. Ooh. There's another one of those metal boxes like the... Shit. Is it happening again, dude? Yeah, I... That's loud. I'm sorry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. I don't know. Are you sure, dude? You I can just... Please stop. Quit. Go to sleep. You just be dehydrated. Didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. Hmm? It's already over. But never mind. Let's just Check in with Todd and Ashley. Oops. Didn't notice I was being that loud. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerson's desk. How are the tests going? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something particular going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention it to Chug for now. Poor kid has al almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right, dude. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we should have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again? I have to watch, I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help after that, though. Later that day. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this down some so that I can actually hear how I sound and not how the mic is picking up because the mic makes my ears think that I'm being very quiet. So, actually I'm gonna take one headphone off. I'm gonna fuck with my glasses, but just to be careful. I need a few minutes to get ready. That's cool, dude. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay. Let's meet up in Todd's room once everything's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Cool, dude. We're back in the apartments. What do I do? Hey, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, hello, dear Sally. Oh, hello, dear Sally. You sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm quite fine. I was just distracted by my thoughts, you know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? Yeah. I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? No, most stories are endings are lies we tell ourselves to create a false sense of hope. What do you mean? There's no happy endings in the real world. We all get the same terrible ending. Death! You can't know that for sure. God damn it. Rose, and even if that were true, doesn't that make it even more precious? <sighs> Excuse me. It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the, the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view on life. It's something I had lost long ago, I'm afraid. Sorry about that, guys. 
the camera is kind of in the way of reading. Um. Oh. Okay. Bye, sis Bye Mrs. Rosenberg. Alright, so we gotta go back up to Todd's room. What was this room again? I haven't played this game in a week. I think it's three. Or is it two? Um. Yeah, it's two. Shit. Two out. Yeah, two out four. You live by Charlie. Mmm. You. Ah. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Mrs. M Morrison. Hey, Sally. Are you boys off on another adventure? Something like that. I think that's so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, just gotta seize the moment, though. Sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know? Ray and I are just watching some television, and then he passed out right here like a little baby. <laughs> isn't the, isn't he the cutest? Uh, sure, I guess so. But you guys don't have a TV. Yeah, isn't it so nice without all the noise? <laughs> She's baked. I can tell you that. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Well, I better get going. Holy shit. Todd was fat, baby. Todd's parent. Oh, no. Which room is Todd's? I wonder. Doi. What the hell is that on top of you? Are you ready? I'm ready. Before we get started, you may want to go get your super gear boy just in case. Uh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be right back. Is that it? Hi, Bob. Is that in my room? Four, four, I think. I could be wrong. Or 402. Oh, shit. We'll try 402 first. Oh, this, this is this my room? It's a nice room. Or my house. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, because Molly didn't realize you were in here. <laughs> what the hell? Just, just listen, just listen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cats taking a bath. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, cell room. Oh dang! Up oh, there she is. Twine parts. Is that like Twine Peaks? Oh shit! We got a guitar. That's cool. Oh, we have a picture of a uh... oh, shit. What's the ghost child's name? Stacy. Is the mom? I forgot. We could take the teacup. Okay then. Where's Daddy O at? Oh, he's got a picture of mom under his bed. There's something under the bed. It's an old photo of mom. I, th I thought Dad threw all. Threw up them all away. Hi, Mom. I miss you. I hope you're at peace. Oh, that's sad. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Dinah. Desk computer. Desk computer is on it, but I don't know his password. Maybe I can figure it out. 
Is it 3.1? No. Wait. Is it 7 to 13? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> uh, type the username and password log on in a window. Mm. Actually, let's try the 713. Okay, yep, no, no idea. Wait, is there a number on here? Let me see, I hope you're at peace. There's a number none on the back. Nope. Okay, guess we're moving on. This sucks what happened to mom. Do, do we even know what happened to mom? Apparently she was murdered from the beginning. Looks of it. Are you ready? Ready. I've tapped into the security cameras and will be able to look footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. What room does he live in? Okay, wait. Since we're doing a Sally face thing and since Sally oh she lives in 201. Got it dude. I want to bring this thing back for the last two Sally Face episodes until season <laughs> episode 5 comes in. Oh my god. Got it, dude. Nice. We should go quickly before she gets back. <laughs> I look so weird. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. Good lord. We better make this short, a short visit. I can't take that stench in here for any longer. Check out the painting. What if Packers really does work, just work on a farm? I don't know. The painting gives me a weird feeling like a cold chill. Oh, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. It's locked, and there's some weird machine mechanism on the doorknob. Hmm, the clock's hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. Damn, it's locked. Gotta love them when they're locked. No, we don't want to leave. Diapers. There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerson uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerson is ancient. When was the last time she cleaned this bathroom? Oh, there's a... Oh, gross. There's a big old log in there. Yeah, there's a... Ew. Anything strange in the fridge? Nah, dude. Looks like a normal groceries and stuff. But there's a padlock down the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Anything with the super gear boy? His 
fillers are open. Ammonia. Got it. Alright, let's open it. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, this mask. I knew it, dude. It is goats. I fucking call that shit, man. Also, gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Oh. <laughs> There's a goat. Um, hi, little buddy. Bye. Bad, 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 bad. What the hell was that? A ghost? Goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Shut up, phone. That took way longer to figure out. Huh. That unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. There's something in here. Someone in here. I can't see. The second thing is that it took so long to figure it out. There's someone in here, dude. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerson? Hello? I don't think he is you, dude. You're right. Looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is fucked. And definitely where that range of smell is coming from, too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and then get out of here. All these pa papers are talking about the death of Mr. Patterson. If he's dead. Then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit filled diapers in here, dude? Like, seriously, like, what the fuck? I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses a... No, no, but never mind. I don't even want to think about that, dude. I think if the mysterious ingredient was human shit, Todd, or shit, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, dude, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. That's gross. Are you Mr. Packerson? Let me if you can hear me. Hello? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Young child, please. Help me. 
How can you be? Are you dead? I am between suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Mrs. Patterson do this to you? We were in love once, so, so I thought, yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape this endless agony. What's in the Bologna? Bologna. I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison. My tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. How can I help you? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... Isn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me from torment. But are you sure? Please, child. I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Oh. I don't know if I should do it, but I kind of want to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to help you out, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I hope that was the right thing to do. Yeah, me too. Dude, you didn't have much of a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain. He w it's what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh shit, she's back! Quick, behind the dresser! If we don't make it out alive, dude... Ah, uh, I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're my best friend I've ever had, you know? Saying to you, little buddy... Oh, that's sweet. Larry's protecting him. Oh god, we are gonna die. Nope. Fucking ass. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment. What the hell is this place? Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. <laughs> Man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had the, to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare, I... Is that Mr. Packerson? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. And please don't tell me this is what's going in the Bologna. I hope not, dude. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. <laughs> One of these keys has to open the door to the bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room? Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree there, Ashley. All right. What the hell? Oh my god! This can't be good. You fucking think there's another damn combo lock? Uh... Okay, it's either, it might either be the big toes or the little toes. I'll try the little toes first. One, two, four. One, three. That worked. Um. Oh my god. We were way over our heads here. We 
need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's just all meat. Dude, no. Come on. Who's it puked on the floor? Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There's no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult, Luke, Charlie, Miss Sanderson, who knows what else is in this place is hidden. We can't trust the cops. We can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerson's chopping people and serving them to... Uh, I don't think I'll ever look at Bologna the same again. <laughs> mm -mm. That's gross. Yes, I'm putting back on the mask. Why? Because I want to. Well? Jesus Christ. Well, what? You asked why I don't eat bologna, and I told you why. All of the fascinating stories you like to spin. You're really not going to tell us what happened next? Why bother? You probably don't believe what I'd say up until now anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story, and we'll air it entirely without cuts, I promise. I heard you mention Todd and Marison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes. We shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? What the hell happened to Todd? I'll tell you what, Mr. Fisher. Finish your Bologna story and I'll tell you about Todd. Before we left Mrs. Packardson's room, Ash knows something else. Hey guys. Hey guys, come look at this. There's some kind of trash you hide behind the painting. That's weird, dude. This building doesn't have any trash chutes. Doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Be careful, Ash. Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. God damn it, Ashley. Ash! Ash! Are you okay? Ash! Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh no. This can't been happening, dude. Please let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How, how will we... What will we... I'm gonna shimmy it down and it's the only way. Dude, no. You're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or land on her? If she's... Still... Alive. That could kill her, dude. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're right. Let's think. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just go get Todd and tell me. Tell, meet me in the basement. Oh, it's getting interesting. What's going on, Sal? What did you see? Is Ashley all right? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this.
there's a door. No one has used this apartment in a long time, dude. It's in rough shape, but Anderson can't f afford the renovation it needs to get the f like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Shao? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened in intuition. All right, you lead the way. Len and I will offer support whenever we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Patterson. Look. Looked like an old apartment key. Try it out, dude. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. here but it looks like hmm trap door guys come check this out trap door dude this must there's must be an unconnect basement level undocumented basement level there's definitely not in any of the blueprints I've seen perhaps an old dirt or something like of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Patterson's to fucking fits in this door. Ash might be, must be down there. It's the only place I could lead to. Welcome to hell. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take this thing off. I forget how sweaty this stupid. What the fuck? I forget how sweaty that stupid mask gets. Oh, uh, no wonder I haven't worn it in so long. <laughs> well, this looks like the place, dude. Incredible. This. Arch it cuter. Arch it eh. cuter. No. Must must date back to multiple cent centuries at least. Centuries of blood. Centuries of blood and demon worship. It's freaky as hell, dude. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which is likely means in the era. Area is pre presently vacant or has some been for a while. Let's hope. Let's hope that the malevolent, mal malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Well, yeah. Well, we need to get through the gate somehow. It appears to be an absence of any objects mechan mechanisms to move the large gate. <laughs> They must have built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus f operates for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. Now wait. If this is a cult. And this that I'm standing on right here is a. St it's probably. It's an old leather bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strange sensation of deja vu. And let me guess, the other side is missing a book. Another, an old... <laughs> blood is splattered, some of the pages are across the bottom edge. Touching makes me feel lightheaded. Is it piercing a strange energy? Ah, okay. 
No, wait, which one were you on over by Todd? So it's clear, book, then that one. So it's the one right after the book. So it's that book. Mm -hmm. It's a bit strange that this place looks like it has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though the screen bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There's no visible switches that have looked all around this area. Huh. Figured it out. So wait, do we have to do that to the other one? <laughs> Looks like it just got a whole lot brighter in here. Dude, so those little oblique thingies just got bigger. What? Scope it out, dude. Got it. I'm a genius. Dude. What, are you trying to give me a heart attack, dude? You scared the shit out of me. Sorry. I got the gate open for a second, but... The switch won't stay down. Todd, can you come stand on this lane and I can go find Ash while you can make sure she won't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. <laughs> Ready? New? No, dude. But Ash is in there somewhere. So, <laughs> no, dude. But Ash is, Ash is in there somewhere. So let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down there. Here. This is creepy. Am I close enough? <laughs> Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that, dude. Okay. Why do these things always happen to me? Oh, we're playing as Larry. Oh, son of a bitch. Crap, this place is like a maze. Alright, wait. This is the first room, so you went through this door. Then 
Let's go through this door. Go back through this door. Son of a bitch. Although that thing is knocked over in that room. Let's bring us back to this room. So this one. No. And that goes with that, that. Nope. This. I'm sorry guys if I'm being quiet, I'm just... figured it out somehow. That's <laughs> pure luck. Hey, Sal. Oh, come on again. <sighs> See if I'm actually hearing things or if I'm doing this right. I really like the orchestra music in the background section, pretty decent. I'm like tensing right now. Oh wait, is this one backwards?
Yep, this one was backwards. Because in as Larry, you were going. I was hearing the ones that didn't make a noise, so I went for the ones with noise. Now when I was at cell, the reason it was taking a while was because I was listening for the ones with noise, but it was the one with absent noise. An old book with the wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front of it. This made from a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Why would you lick it? You strange boy. Oh god, not, not, not another one of these. You suck, you suck, you suck. Come on. Come on. Okay. I think I'm heading in the right direction with this. There we go. I got it. I'm a genius. Don't not. <laughs> Woohoo! Larry! Hey, good time indeed. I think we I have to pull these levers at the same time to open the gate. We must have worked, walked around the, in a big circle. The room behind the gate is in the center of this area. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Huh? Hmm. I think this weird hex thing is from Mrs. Patterson's desk is some kind of key. It's a good thing I took that fucking thing. Whoa, dude. It's a good thing I took that at the start of this video. Holy shit, this is almost a two hour. Holy shit, balls, dude. It's a good thing I took that at the end of this fucking video. Okay, so if anything, she should have landed on the bones. Another box pestle, but this one has nothing on it. Ashley, are you out here? Future Mrs. Fisher? Or, well, I'm in trial, but in the future, but I'm sure we can look past it. Oh, <gasps> you better not be dead. Ash, Ash, are you okay? Ash, is she? She's still breathing. Come on, let me help her up. She's awake, dude. What? What's going on? Where? Where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, not of mine, at least. Heh, <laughs> man, Ash. You won't, wouldn't believe that what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his visions things and they... Then he found this old cellar door in the basement and we went down these craziest creepy stairs. And then we found this crazy ass cult, dude. Temple. <laughs> dude temple. Or some shit down here. And then we're all the, these puzzles and traps and mazes and... Todd! Todd is holding the front door gate open for us as we... For us. We should go back there. Whoa! This is all so much to take in. I can't believe all of... This right below the apartment. I'll explain where all those... Bones went. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know how, what I'd do without you guys. Probably be dead. Or trapped. I'll take the ladder and say trapped. So, what are we going to do about all this? Mrs. Packerson has killed a lot of people in the Bologna. Ugh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what sh God damn it. What you guys sh have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and Mrs. Packerson's apartment, 
It could be possible that she fought. Found herself wrapped into the occult as well. Even if con con congeneration has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon the store just as we have. Or maybe she's the last member trying to carry out whatever their plans were were on her own. Did did you think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her. God damn it. Perfect. Preferably like before that happens, dude. I know, I'm going to the local police. To the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. Alright, screw this. Hi again. They'll help us once we show them what's below the built this building and what Patterson's been doing. Asher's right. We shouldn't get our we should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we could just kill her, dude? What? Mrs. Mrs. Packerson's maybe Mrs. Packerson. Maybe we should kill her, dude. She's old and so it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Then we'd be no better than her. Normally I wouldn't against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously you guys? Think about it. All the strange unexplainable occurrences that happen in Anderson Apartments and Knoxville in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Patterson is acting alone. She must be getting, getting help out, outside help. That would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and Holmes family murders. There's no telling how this corruption reaches. God damn, dude. I guess that I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are pretty things like being popular or having nice hair. Not us though. We have to worry about saving the whole world, I guess. Yeah, I can read it. I'm adding words. Oh, my arm is getting tired. Back in the middle. So, what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerman got into a car accident on the way home. The same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. That's quite a com- Com- Wow! That's what quite convenient! You can look at it- Look it up your, your, for yourself. If you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High School teacher killed by a drunk driver. Of course, you wouldn't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. That's the truth. And you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will be aired on Phil in full. I always keep my word and I think the people would be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two are very close. You even consider her one of your best friends along with Larry Johnson and Todd Marson. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? The Sally face. She 
they're gonna testify against us? Who did we kill? So I face killer and change rush. Oh, Sal. What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh, right, of course. We got a- we shot a segment with Mon Mawson yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened last night. That night. He's- He's still out of it. Unresponsive is- Still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. Well, he mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Marson hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition may be getting worse. They say the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality, and all he, want and all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I, I need him. I need to help him. Somehow. I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Oh Jesus Christ, the Red Eye Demon! Oh, that is not creepy at all. Anyways guys, I think that's the end of episode 3. Pretty actually, I'm pretty certain. So anyways, got yeah. oh yep, um... Anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smack that like button, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff is always up in the channel or above. I hope you guys are having a very lovely rest of your day. Spire Team is out!